You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. PZ Printing Pitching Change for BYU in the top of the seventh. Carter Smith enters the game. The PZ Printing Pitching Change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Through six innings, let's take a look at our On the Rubber Pitching Report brought to you by Big O Tires. Big O Tires, the team you trust. BYU pitchers through six. Hansen pitch five, Cole one. So through six innings, ten hits allowed, seven runs, five of them earned. Two bases on balls, four strikeouts. No wild pitches, no hit batsmen. 125 pitches thrown. Greensboro through six, using three pitchers to get through six. Nine hits, seven runs, all earned. Three strikeouts, five walks, one wild, one hit, and 118 pitches thrown. That's on the rubber, brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. All right, Carter Smith on the hill now. The right-hander facing the left-handed batting Luke Jenkins here in the top of the seventh. 7-7 ball game. And Carter Smith low with a fastball at 96 down beneath the knees for ball one. Four pitch mix for Carter as he goes strike one. That one caught the bottom part of the frame again. A heater at 96. It's about as fast as he'll throw it. A change 78 to 80. A slider in the low 80s and a curve in the mid to high 70s. The 1 1. That'll be a base hit through the right side. Hit number 11 on the day. A leadoff single for Luke Jenkins in this 7 7 ball game. G.C. Jarman will now bat. Jarman on a two-for-three day. A pair of singles and a pair of runs scored, including a run scored in that four-run sixth for the Spartans. Greensboro, seven runs on 11 hits, no errors. BYU, seven runs on nine hits, two errors. Lead runner aboard. And that'll be a grounder just foul. Jones had handled it at first base, but it was wide of the bag, so... Strike one. When tied after six innings this year, BYU is two and three. And Greensboro, when tied after six innings, is one and five. It's a three-inning ball game now. Just innings seven, eight, and nine to play. Should we not go to extras? Seven, seven ball game. Fastball on the outside edge called strike two. So Carter's got the heater working here. He's thrown a trio of 96-mile-per-hour fastballs here in the seventh. The 0-2 to G.C. Jarman. The runner on first and no one out here in the top of the seventh. That'll be a slow roller to Deming to second for one. Over to first for two. No, they don't get the first base runner. It'll be a 5-4 force out, but not the 5-4-3 DP. So Jenkins... Out at second on the 5-4 force. And Jarman reaching on the 5-4 fielder's choice. Just a little too late to get the 5-4-3. So Mitchell Smith will now bat on a 1-for-3 day with a run scored. First out of the seventh inning. In the seventh through ninth innings this year, BYU's been outscored 99-44. to That's a pretty significant disparity in the final three innings. Minus 55 in the final three innings, in the, in the in the last two innings, innings eight and nine, the Cougs are minus 34 at 58 to 24 against. So the uh, late innings have been tough innings for BYU on the season. Oh, a nice pickoff attempt by Carter Smith. Nearly got G.C. Jarman with a back swipe tag. He gets back safely. 1-0, meantime, to Mitchell Smith, the third baseman. Carter dips the chin. And from the stretch comes Plateward. And that will be line foul, as on the move was Jarman. So hit and run on. Jarman 8 for 10 on stolen base tries. So Mitchell Smith... The seven-hole hitter, right-handed hitter against the righty Carter Smith working first base side of the rubber. Carter comes set, kicks and deals away. Ball two. Two and one. One out, one on. We're top seven in a seven-seven ball game. BYU won the opener 14-8. The second game 19-8 in an abbreviated game. Called after six and a half with BYU 10 running the Spartans last night. 
Grounder to Anderson. To second for one. Over to first. Safe again. Late at first. It goes 4-6 on the force out. And then not 4-6-3. Because reaching on the fielder's choice 4-6 is Mitchell Smith. So the Cougs a couple of looks at double plays. But not able to finish it off at first base. But forced out. On the 4-6 is Jarman. And now Smith takes Jarman's spot at first on the fielder's choice. Two gone now for Dallas Callahan and one on. A runner on first. And a fastball at 96 missing low for ball one. So Jenkins a leadoff single. Forced out at second. Jarman a fielder's choice reach. Forced out at second. And now Smith a fielder's choice reach. And it's two gone. One on. In a tie ball game. Callahan. One for one. And that one was a big one as he goes opposite field, fouling out of play near the BYU bullpen. It was a three-run home run for Callahan in the sixth. The first three runs in a four-run sixth. And that put the Spartans up 7-6. to six. BYU getting one at the bottom of the sixth to make it a 7-7 ball game, and that's where we are. Top seven. One one the count. Smith from the stretch delivers away. Fastball missing at 95 outside. In the BYU bullpen. Sam Beck is warming up. Right hander Beck on the hill in the pull- bullpen. The Spartans pen quiet. Two balls and a strike. The runner on first is Smith, and that's lifted in the air. Foul. Out of play down the third baseline. Two and two the count with two out and Smith on first. Dallas Callahan hitting 215 on the year. That number dips to 194 with two out. Greensboro with two out today. Two for seven. BYU three for nine in two out hitting. The count's even. Carter Smith the right-hander. From the stretch. Again, fouled out of play down the third baseline. We stay two and two. Seven runs, 11 hits for the Spartans. Seven runs, nine hits for BYU. They have the only two errors on the day. It's led to a couple of unearned runs. The 2-2 from Smith. Kicks and fires, and that's low. The count is full. Fastball low at 96. Carter's been mid-90s with all of his heaters here in the seventh inning. And he's been looking to zero in on the zone. For 7-7, top seven. Series finale. BYU playing for its first series sweep of the year. Three balls, two strikes, two out, one on. Runner takes off, and that will be a walk of Callahan inside. First and second now. With two gone for the nine-hole hitter, Bradley Bott. Bott, the left-handed hitting center fielder. With a runner in scoring position, the go-ahead run in scoring position. First and second for Bott, who's one for three today with an RBI single back in the fourth. Paint job. On the outside edge, 93 mile per hour fastball from Carter to open the count 0 and 1. BYU's won two games in a row, four times this season, but never three straight. Can they do it today? The 0 1. That's down and in for ball one. Count even to Bott. Left handed bat of Bott. Lefty bats in the 5, 6, 8, and 9 holes for head coach Billy Godwin. On deck, the top of the order hitter, Daniel Serta. BYU's given up seven runs, but only five earned today, and that'll be another foul rolling into the Greensboro dugout. One and two. See if Carter can get to a wipeout pitch as Bott just fouled off a 96-mile-per-hour fastball. Carter's been consistently mid-90s coming out of the pen. He blow one by Bot here. The one-two count, two out, two on. Tie ball game, seven-seven. The drama mounting at Miller Park. Carter comes set, 
Looks back at second once and twice. Kicks and fires, and that'll be a slow grounder to third. Deming will go to second for the easy out. Not so easy on a fast run to second, but they get the out on the 5-4 ground out. So, for North Carolina Greensboro, in the top of the seventh, no runs on a hit. There were no errors and two were left on. We go bottom seven. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. After six and a half, seven, seven ball game. Cougs and Spartans on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Bottom of the seventh in a 7-7 ball game. BYU trailed 7-6 before scoring one in the sixth. Leading off the seventh, Cooper Vest, Vest, Goff, and Call. Six, seven, and eight hitters due up. Coop today is 0 for 2 with a base on balls. He was stranded after his walk in the fifth and takes ball one from Matt Kemp. Coop in the series, 6 for 12, four runs, four RBI. High ball two. And ball three. Low and gets away from the catcher, Callahan. So, a 3-0 count to Vest. BYU being out, hit 11-9, but in a tie ball game at 7-7. Looking to get the lead runner aboard. Coop should be on the take here with a 3-0 from Kemp. Kemp full kick and delivery, and a four-pitch walk of Cooper Vest. Coop get the lead runner aboard here in the bottom of the seventh. Parker Goff will now bat with Best on first. Parker today is 0 for 1, but two walks and an RBI. Drew a bases loaded walk in the fifth, scoring Austin Deming. Kemp from the stretch, runner on first, and loses that one up top for ball one. BYU Baseball Communications Director Duff Tittle, he of the 80% stat, leadoff walks, Score 80% of the time in college baseball. The 1-0. And that breaker's in for strike one. Middle of the plate. 1-1 to Goff, the Cougar catcher. Up two spots in the batting order with uh, Jacob Wilk out resting today. So Goff hitting seventh. And BYU's on-base percentage leader has been on base twice. And you can now make it three times. He gets hit by the pitch. So BYU with first and second. No one out. And they're going to turn to the top of the order here shortly. Cooper Vest will go to second. Goff is on first with an HBP. His third reached today. A walk, a strikeout, a walk, and a hit by pitch. And BYU's on-base percentage leader has been on base three times in four plate appearances. Chad Call now on an 0-for-2 day. A walk with a stranding in the first. A fly out to right in the fourth and a strikeout looking in the fifth. That ended the fifth. He'll now bat the left-handed bat of Call facing the right-handed hurler in Matt Kemp. Pitch gets away. Runners will go to second and third respectively. So wild pitch on the first pitch to Call. And that will put Vest at third and Goff at second. So two runners in scoring position, still no one out. As the Cougs look to take a lead here in the bottom of the seventh in a 7-7 ball game. Matt Kemp is on the hill. Fastball in the high 80s and a curve in the mid to high 70s this is his major two-pitch arsenal. Fastball and curve is what he goes to. Jersey number one. Pitcher number three on the day for the Spartans. And a breaker called strike one. One ball, one strike, no one gone, two on, and both in scoring position. First base empty. Vest on third. Goff on second. Called strike two. One and two to Chad Call. Chad on the year has one sacrifice fly. Three sacrifice bunts. One, two. Mm, check swing, and he... They appeal, they say he goes. Yep. The call is go. So, the first out is a strikeout of Chad Call with two on here in the bottom of the seventh. 
huge out for Greensboro, but sack fly still in play with Easton Jones, and Jones has deep power, and they'll have a mound visit here with Kemp. Easton Jones, a double, a deep double in the sixth, and he scored the tying run to make it 7-7. So mound conference here in the bottom of the seventh, one gone and two on. They'll turn to the top of the order with Ozzie Pratt on deck. Get any kind of run here, and then the heart of the order comes to the plate in the eighth. Meantime for UNC Greensboro, top of the order due up in the eighth inning. All right, the conference concludes, and Easton Jones, the right-handed bat, will face the right-handed hurler in Kemp. Best on third, Goff on second, Jones with a double in the sixth. And that run scored, that double for Easton was his eighth of the year. So exactly half of his 16 hits are two baggers. Strike one piped in to open the count. The curve for strike one from Kemp. The 0-1. Another curve missing down and away, one and one. Easton Jones today, one for three. A fly out in the first, a fly out in the fourth. And a double with a run scored in the sixth. Curve is lifted out of play in the air down the right field line. 1-2 to Jones. 9 of his 16 hits on the year have gone for extra bases. That's a great ratio. The 1-2. Curve. Backward K. Barrel on the shoulder. It's a punch out of Jones, and the Cougs have gone second and third, no one out, to second and third, two out. A strikeout swinging and a strikeout looking. Ozzie Pratt now with the go-ahead run 90 feet away, but now two gone. So strikeouts of the eight and nine hitters. Now the top of the order. Ozzie grounds that foul down the first baseline. 0-1. Two gone, two on. Bottom seven. Seven, seven ball game. Serta, Jones, and Budzik. The one, two, three hitters do up for the Spartans. Top of the order. Pratt bats with two gone. A reach out foul down the third baseline. So 0 and 2, Kemp gets ahead. Luke Anderson on deck. Can they get to Luke? The 0 2, Kemp facing Pratt. Ozzie's 0 for 4 today. The kick and fire. And that curve will be uh, snagged by the first baseman. Bobbles and there will be no throw. Run scores. He did not come up with it. Jarman at first made a great snag on a hot shot but could not come up with the ball. And on the bobble, scoring from third is best. And BYU takes the 8-7 lead. And that will be called an infield single for Ozzie Pratt. His first hit of the day drives home the go-ahead run. The hot shot to first, not handled cleanly by Jarman. And BYU takes the 8-7 lead. Now runners on the corners for Luke Anderson. The key was to get to the top of the order and now into the order with Anderson on an 0-for-3 day with an RBI. And with two gone, looking to extend his eight-game hit streak. Lucas sack fly RBI in the sixth, tied the game. Now the Cougs have taken the lead 8-7. Pitch in the dirt with Goff going to third and Pratt on first. So a base hit for Ozzy. Now base hits in 10 of his last 11 games. He's reached base in 11 consecutive games. 1-0 to Luke. And missing low for ball two is Kemp. Two balls, no strikes. With Goff on third, Pratt on first, and Anderson batting with Deming on deck. 8-7 Cougs, bottom seven. Curb again misses, and 3-0. Kemp's got to make a pitch or load the bases for BYU's most dangerous hitter in the lineup. May have to go to the fastball here with a 3-0 count. And does go fastball and pipes it in for strike one. 
Curveball pitchers, tough to rely on that curve when you need, need the strikes. Went to the heater and grooved it in for strike one. Three and one to Anderson. Luke waggles the bat over the right shoulder. That'll be high. And a walk of Anderson. A five-pitch walk loads the bases for Austin Deming. Pratt to second. Goff on third. And now Anderson on first. Loads the bases for Austin Deming. Austin, two for three with the bases loaded this season. And BYU today is 0 for 1 with the sacks stacked. Austin Deming can break this game open. BYU's up 8 to 7, bottom 7. The sacks are stacked for Deming, who takes away ball one. Deming today is 4 for 4 with three runs and two RBI. 10 for 13 in the series. 1 0 goes to 1 and 1. That's grooved in for strike one, evening the count. Deming a double with a run scored in the first. Solo home run in the second. And his RBI, his double in the first was an RBI double. Then singles in the fifth and sixth. He scored a run in the fifth. A ball got loose. They'll track it down behind home plate. One ball, one strike, two out, two on. Two out, three on. Bases loaded here for Deming. In a one-run ball game, 8-7 Cougs. Bottom seven. Kemp. Kicks and fires, and a wave by Deming on a pitch down and away. And so 1-2 to BYU's third baseman. On a 12-game hit streak, now the longest hit streak for any BYU player this season. He leads BYU in batting average, slugging, RBIs, home runs, total bases. Doubles, does it all. The 1-2, good eye. Ball outside, taken for ball two. Deming 13 home runs on the year. Home run number 13 came in the second inning today. The 2-2 to Deming. Right-handed bat facing right-hander on the hill. Camp winds and delivers. And that is hammered by Deming to left. And that will be a grand slam to break it open. Second home run of the day. And 14th of the season. The inning began for BYU in the bottom of the frame at 7-7. It's now 12-7. The grand slam for Austin Deming. Back-to-back six RBI days. And the Cougs blow it open in the bottom of the seventh. Austin Deming deep to left. Home run number 14 on the year. For BYU, home run number four on the day. And 59 on the season. 12-7 Cougs. Austin Deming did it again. Five for five with six RBI. Two home runs in back-to-back games. A solo shot and a two-run shot last night. A solo shot and a grand slam this afternoon. And Cole Gamble now bats with the bases clear. And the Cougs make it 12-7 in the bottom of the seventh. The Cougs were down 7-6 and have scored six in a row. Count goes to 2-1 and one to Cole Gamble, meantime. Austin Deming on a 15 RBI week. The 2-1 goes to 3-1. and one. Cole Gamble today, not too shabby, 3-for-4 with 2 RBI. A two-run shot in the first, flew out in the second, singles in the fifth and the sixth, after which he was stranded. And that'll be a fastball outside edge for strike two, three and two. Cole Gamble batting 339 on the year, down to 213 with two outs. Space is clear and two gone for Cole. Left-handed bat, right-handed thrower. Kemp kicks and fires and a check swing foul back to the screen. Austin Deming bringing home Goff from third, Pratt from second, and Anderson from first. The grand slam to left. And BYU goes up 12-7. And Cole gets out in front of that off-speed offering, and it'll be strike three. And the Spartans get out of the BYU seventh, but BYU scores five runs in the bottom of the inning. On two hits, there was no errors. There were no errors, and no one left on. We go top eight, 12-7 Cougs on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. 
Does buying a home... You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Cougars take a 12-7 lead into the eighth inning. Carter Smith facing Daniel Serta to lead off the Spartans' eighth. 0-1 count goes to 0-2. Fastball at 95. Paint job on the outside edge. Carter gets ahead. Five runs seventh for BYU, including a grand slam from Austin Deming. Two home runs on the day for 14 on the year. Back-to-back two home run games. 15 RBIs this week. One against Utah. Two on Thursday. Six last night, six today. Wow. His hit streak is 12 games and counting, and he is producing in every one of those 12. Base hit through the right side to lead off the Spartans' eighth, and it'll get into the right field corner. It'll be a stand-up double for Daniel Serta. So you can't sleep on Serta, who's two for five today. A single and a run scored in the first. A fly out to left in the second. Grounded into a 6-4-3 in the fourth. Reaching on an E6 and scoring in the sixth. And now a leadoff double here in the eighth. Kennedy Jones, back-to-back righty bats. Breaker in from Carter Smith for ball one. The Cougs not out of the woods. Six outs left for the Spartans to work with. They're down five, though, 12 to seven. Spartans are out hitting BYU right now, 12 to 11. Being outscored, 12 to seven. Smith sees that hammered to center field, and that will be a two-run shot into the pines in right center. It's a three-run ball game. Two-run home run for Kennedy Jones, his second hit of the day. 12-9 is our new score. Daniel Serta scores from second, and the first two batters reach for the Spartans. Serta the double, Jones the two-run home run. Three-run ball game, lead cut to three. So Serta scoring from second, and Jones with home run number eight on the season. 12-9. Action in the BYU bullpen. There's a southpaw up. Boston Mabius. The batter is Zach Budsick with the bases clear and still no one gone. BYU's being out hit 13-11. to As I mentioned earlier, every time Greensboro's out hit the opponent, they've won that game, but they trail by three in this game. That'll be fouled out of play. One and one the count to Budzik. Budzik today is one for four with an RBI double in the sixth. Prior to that, a fly out to center in the first, a ground out to second in the third, and a fly out to right in the fifth. Second in hits on the team. He has one hit on the day. He is one for four. 2-1 goes to... Budzik. Right-handed in the box, right-hander on the hill. Budzik the shortstop. Two balls and a strike, and that nearly hit him inside. He ducked away from that. So three and one as Carter loses that high and tight. There's no one out here in the eighth. Boston maybe is his last appearance may have been was it a five I think it was a five out save for Boston in his last appearance his last save I think it was a five out save and might they go to Boston a little earlier here today maybe his last appearance was a five out save at Santa Clara 3-1 and Carter loses him Five pitch walk of Budzik, and still no one out here in the top of the eighth. 12 9, Cougs lead it. But a double, a two run home run, and a base on balls to the first three batters. And now pitching coach Abe Alvarez will come out to the mound. We'll see if this does it for Carter Smith. Yep. Boston Mabius will be called on for a, what the Cougars hope is a two inning. Six out save. Pitching change coming up. Brought to you by PZ Printing. Of the new pitcher set up in 60 seconds on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Top of the eighth here at Miller Park. BYU leads it 12 to 9 over UNC Greensboro. And Boston Mabius, whose long outing of the year 
is two innings. Maybe asked to go two innings for the save here today. Last Saturday, one week ago today, he went one and two thirds for the save. Got five outs at Santa Clara. They may ask him to get six outs here today. It's a PZ Printing pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. Speaking of inspirational, Austin Deming, five for five today with two home runs and six RBI. Two more Zions Bank home runs. Every home run brought to you this year by Zions Bank for banking that helps you game plan for life. Zions Bank is for you. So Deming, the hitting star. We'll see if Boston Mabius can be the pitching star for BYU to close this one out today. Boston has gone 14 innings in 15 appearances. Has given up 10 hits, 7 runs, all of them earned, and nearly 5 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio. 24 strikeouts to 5 bases on balls. Has 3 saves on the year and a 4.50 ERA. So, he's not pitched in a week. He'll be well rested. His high pitch count on the year is 41, and that came in his 2 inning stint in the second of 2 against St. Mary's back in late March. So, That'll be about his limit. Last Saturday at Santa Clara, Boston came in with one out in the top of the eighth and got the last two outs via strikeout. No one out and one on here in the top of the eighth in a three-run ball game, 12-9. And Boston opens with a breaker that settles in for strike one. Boston maybe is the southpaw. Three-pitch mix. Fastball curve and change. Fastball topping out around 93. Curve in the high 70s. Change in the low 80s. Maybe his fastball. Sees it popped up into short left field. Shortstop call is back. Will be called off by Cooper Vest, who makes the catch. And one is out. Dosi Jonas flies out. So Jonas fly out to left. He is one for four. Make it two for five on the day. And brings in Luke Jenkins. Jenkins, strikeout, strikeout, ground out, and a single after which he was forced out. So one for four for Jenkins. With one out now and one on in the top of the eighth. BYU 12, UNC Greensboro 9. BYU being out hit 13-11, but outscoring the Spartans 12-9. Cougs have the only two errors on the day. Jenkins. Right-handed bat against the lefty Mabius. Fastball missing down and in. For ball one. Jenkins, the batting average leader. And four hits in the series. Four for nine. With two runs and an RBI. A check over at first, a lob over to Jones. Getting back is Budzik. So Budzik on first after a walk, which followed a double and a two-run home run to make it a 12-9 ball game. Jenkins facing Mabius. Righty in the box, lefty on the hill. And that'll be a called strike. Fastball down and away. Paint job in the low outside corner for strike one. One and one the count, one out, one on. BYU looking for its third straight win for the first time this season. Looking to go 11 and 5 here at home. And get closer to 500 on the year at 17 and 21. The 1 1. Curveball stays up top. Good pitch, though. That could have been called a strike. That was top of the frame. Just missing. It's the pinch hitter, Kozart. Caleb Kozart batting for Jenkins. They've gone pinch hitter, and that will be deep to the right field corner, and a two-run shot makes it a one-run game. Caleb Kozart pinch hitting for Jenkins here in the eighth. And lifts it deep to right and makes it a one-run ball game. A four-run eighth. Two-run home run for Kozart, bringing home Budzik from first. And just like that, 12-7 goes to 12-11. BYU not out of the woods yet. Two home runs in the inning. And both two-run shots, Caleb Kozart as a pinch hitter for Luke Jenkins. They replaced the lefty bat of Jenkins with the righty of Kozart. And he makes it pay off for head coach Billy Godwin. Clears the bases, still only one out, and 12-11 is our new score. As Kozart goes yard into the right field corner. And so BYU's late inning woes have returned today. O2 meantime from Mabius to GC Jarman. 
who bats in the six hole. Left-handed bat of Jarman against the lefty Mabius. A four-run eighth after a four-run sixth for UNC Greensboro. A check swing and the barrel, no, did not pass the front hip. They'll say ball one did not go through. So a pair of two-run home runs here in the eighth. Jones and Cozart making it a one-run ball game. The one-two. Can maybe just get out of the at-bat. They check again and no. Held back for ball two. So one gone, no one on. For G.C. Jarman, Mitchell Smith is on deck. In the next frame for BYU, Sapiti, Vest, and Goff, hitters five, six, and seven do up. Austin Mabius got one out here in the eighth and now gets his second via strikeout, a swing and a miss from Jarman, and two gone. Two gone, no one on for Mitchell Smith. So Caleb Cozart pinch hit two-run home run here in the eighth after a Kennedy Jones two-run shot earlier in the inning. The Austin Deming Grand Slam gave BYU a five-run lead going into the eighth. And BYU in leading into the eighth this year. 14 and 5. The Spartans win trailing after 7, 4 and 17. So they have had some comeback wins late. Four of them. The 1 0 meantime to Smith. One ball, no strikes, two gone, and no one on. For top eight, and foul back out of play. 1 and 1 the count. Grounder to Deming. Nice backhand on a short hop at third. And over to first to end the inning. Nicely played 5-3 ground out as Smith is out. And the Spartans score four. Four runs on three hits, including two two two-run home runs. There were no errors and no one left on. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Cougars lead it by one, 12-11 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Back at Miller Park, bottom of the eighth. New pitcher for the Spartans is Jake Wolf. And a new right fielder is Luke Holland. So Jake Wolf on the hill. Making his second appearance against BYU. The side armor went two innings on Thursday. Gave up three hits, three runs, all of them earned. Struck out two, walked one. On the year, he's gone 51 and a third, making his 18th appearance. A 4.73 ERA and a 2 and 1 record for Jake Wolf. Again, getting his second stint against BYU. The Cougs open the bottom of the eighth with Sapiti, Vest, and Goff do up. 12 11 Cougars. This has been back and forth and very interesting. 4 1 after 1, 5 1 after 2, 5 2 after 4. 6-3 after 5, 7-7 after 6, 12-7 after 7, and now 12-11 into the bottom of the 8th. Ryan Sapiti batting for BYU. As Wolf, the sidearm to three-quarter arm slot pitcher, goes strike one, off-speed 75. Outside edge to Sapiti, the right-handed batter. Righty on the hill, righty in the box. That time it's inside and more the heart of the plate. Back-to-back off speed and 0-2 the count to Sapiti. Ryan today is 1-3 for three with a run on an RBI. The run on the RBI coming on a solo home run in the first. The second of back-to-back home runs after a gamble two-run shot. That'll be a chase pitch away and Ryan will take that for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Space is clear to lead off the bottom of the eighth. 12-11, one-run ball game. BYU in one run games this year, four and six. The Spartans four and one in one run games. Lifted in the air to the right field corner, but well in play and well shy of the track. Catch made and out number one here at the bottom of the eighth. The fly out to right for Ryan Sapiti. Cooper Vest will now bat, and Coop today is 0 for 2 with. A pair of ground outs and two walks. After his last walk, he scored 
One of five runs in the fifth. Five runs in the seventh for BYU. So Coop 0 for 2 with two walks and a run scored. Has reached base in 12 consecutive games and just missing outside on a fastball at 87. Is Jake Wolf for ball one to open the count. Today's game is two hours and 50 minutes old. Best gives that a charge to right center, and that will be off the top of the wall and into the pines. It's a solo home run off the top of the 10-foot wall in right center. And the Cougs get an all-important insurance run. 13-11. The Cougs expand the lead. Cooper Best. Solo home run to the power alley in right. The second home run today that has bounced off the top of the wall and gone into the pines. And for Coop, home run number six on the year. And for BYU, home run number five on the day. Back-to-back games with five home runs, and BYU now with 60 home runs on the season. One gone for Parker Goff. Huge insurance run for BYU, making it a two-run game, 13-11. to The Cougs this week have scored 14, 14, 19, and 13. Back to back to back to back double digit run outings. So the home run is number 60 on the season, and the Cougs have scored 60 runs this week. They're averaging 15 runs a game. They've scored 60 in the week. 14 against Utah, 14 against Greensboro Thursday, 19 last night, 13 today. A 2-1 count to Goff. Meantime, goes to 2-2 two two as he fouls that number back to the dugout. The BYU dugout. 2-2, two two, the count, one out and no one on. Cougs up 13-11. to 11. They're being out hit 14-12. to 12. Looking to give the Spartans maybe their first loss without hitting the opponent this year. A 2-2. Two two. Sidearm this time, outside and low for ball three. The count full to Goff. Goff today is 0 for 1, but has reached base three times on a walk, a walk, and a hit by pitch. He has scored and also has an RBI, a base hit through the right side. First hit of the day for Parker Goff. It comes in the eighth inning with one gone. On the ground through the right side. And a one-out single for Parker, bringing up Chad Call. So BYU's on-base percentage leader, Parker Goff, has been on base four times in five plate appearances. A walk, a walk, a hit by pitch, and a single. We'll see what Chad Call can do with this now. Chad today is 0 for 3. He has a walk, a fly out, and a pair of strikeouts looking and swinging. That'll be sidearmed in at 75 for ball one. First base coach Noah Hill working with Parker Goff on third. It's Brent Herring. BYU 13 runs on 13 hits. The submarine ball two to Chad Call. Easton Jones on deck. Ozzie Pratt the top of the order after him. One gone should they get to Oz. Two balls, no strikes to Call. Call will chop that to second. One play to make, underhand scoop to first. Advancing to second is Goff, who was past the fielder. And Chad Call grounds out 4-3. So reaching second on the 4-3 is Goff. Easton Jones now bats out of the nine hole. Will the Cougs need to bat in the ninth? They only had eight innings at bat on Thursday, six innings at bat yesterday, and they're into their eighth inning at bat here today, 13 to 11. And that will be a hot shot off the shortstop. Handles it well. A one hopper to first is handled and picked well to get the Spartans out of the BYU 8th and so a 6-3 ground out BYU scores a run on two hits there were no errors and one was left on we go to the top of the ninth the Spartans down to their final three outs 13-11 Cougs lead it on the new skin BYU Sports Network you're listening to BYU Baseball here's the voice of the Cougars Greg Rubel Miller Park top of the ninth BYU by two 13-11 and do up the eight, nine, and one hitters for UNC Greensboro. Boston maybe stays on the hill looking to get the Cougs a six out save. Yeah. 
Maybe this will face Dallas Callahan, the catcher, who today is one for one with three walks and a three-run home run. Lefty on the hill, Mabius, and lefty in the box in Callahan. High for ball one from Boston. BYU 13 and Greensboro 11. BYU 13 runs on 13 hits, two errors. The Spartans 11 runs on 14 hits, no errors. Cougs led 12-7 into the eighth. Gave up four in the eighth. Got an insurance run in the bottom of the eighth to lead 13-11. 1-1 the count even. Called strike to Callahan. Missing for ball two. Two one to catcher Callahan, who's got two hits in the series, two for six. Called strike. To two and two on Dallas Callahan. A lefty be lefty matchup. That'll be drilled on the ground. Foul down the first baseline. We'll stay two and two. Bradley Bott, the nine-hole hitting center fielder, is on deck. Then the top of the order, Serta, due up. Serta is two for five with three runs scored today. BYU by two, 13 to 11. The Cougs have not given up the lead since Boston Mabius came into the game. Boston did give up a two-run home run in the eighth. And that'll be a number to short. Be a tough throw from Call, and it'll be late at first. And so it's an infield single for Dallas Callahan, lead batter aboard for the Spartans. That slow roller was going to be a tough play to make, even with a great throw. And so on board is Callahan for Bott. Bott was the listed hitter. But a pinch hitter to hit righty against the lefty Mabius will be Rowan Watt. So Rowan Watt pinching out of the nine hole for Bott. So from Bott to Watt. And a runner on first and no one out here in the top of the ninth. 13-11 BYU by two. Mabius will check. Callahan at first. Rowan Watt, the right-handed hitter, playing in his 34th game. He's hitting 260 on the year. 174, though, the number dips with runners on. He's got a runner on first in a two-run game, the tying run at home. Breaking ball missing outside and up top. 1-0 to Watt. Rowan Watt has not played in this series. The 1-0. Working third base side of the rubber. The southpaw Mabius induces a foul back to the screen. 1-1. One one. Daniel Serta, the top of the order batter for the Spartans, is on deck. On first base is Callahan. A leadoff single here in the ninth. Tying run at the plate. 13-11 Cougs. BYU's being out hit 15-13 right now. The Spartans have not lost a game all year when they out-hit the opposition. High for ball two, two and one. Let's explore the WCC scoreboard brought to you by Explore Utah Valley. Enjoy Utah Valley's food scene in downtown Provo where 50-plus local restaurants provide a wide variety of food experiences. Find your happy here. Learn more at utahvalley.com. 2-1 count. 2-2 two and two called strike. As we explore the WCC scoreboard, we see Wazoo leading Santa Clara 8-3 in Pullman. That's a final. Bottom seven in Moraga. St. Mary's LMU tied 5-all. A 2-2 count from Mabius to Watt. And Watt fouls that back out of play. Just underway in Stockton. Pacific and Pepperdine are scoreless later today. Gonzaga plays at Portland, and San Francisco plays at San Diego. Coming into the day, 
LMU leads the WCC at 13 and 3. Gonzaga in second at 10 and 6. Then a three-way tie for third. Portland, San Diego, St. Mary's all at 9 and 7. BYU and Santa Clara tied for sixth at 7 and 8. The 2-2. Runner takes off. The ball high and the throw is wide at second. So taking second is Callahan on the steal as the count goes to 3 and 2. Stolen base number 59 on the year. Runner in scoring position now and still no one out. Rowan Watt is the batter. Right-hander in the box, southpaw on the hill. Maybe it's in a 3-2 count. Serta on deck. Maybe as looks back at second, comes plateward and... It's a backward K! Halfway to first base was Rowan Watt, thought it was ball four. And Andrew Burke, who favors the delayed call on the caught-looking strikeout, punches him out for out number one. So a barrel on the shoulder strikeout, and halfway to first was Watt. And he'll hit the stop sign and head to the dugout for out number one. Top of the order now, Daniel Serta batting. The Spartans down to their final two outs. BYU 13, Greensboro 11, top nine. One out, one on. The one on is Callahan at second base. Serta, two for five with three runs scored today. 319 on the year. But it drops more than 100 points with runners in scoring position. He's 214 with runners in scoring position. The 1-0 to Serta. Maybe this comes in and down low for ball two. Two balls, no strikes, one out, and Callahan on second. The tying runs at home plate in Serta. On deck is Kennedy Jones at a two-run home run in his last at-bat. The 2-0. Maybe as winds and deals high, three straight balls. Boston missing it up top. The eighth inning saw the Spartans hit two two-run home runs. One of them from the on-deck hitter, Kennedy Jones. Three balls, no strikes. Serta on the take. Take strike one. And he was stepping toward first base. Fastball at 91. Top of the zone. Called strike one by him. home plate umpire Andrew Burke. 3-1 count, one out, one on. BYU by two, top nine. Maybe is from the stretch. Southpaw kicks and releases and walks him on five pitches. First and second now. Tying run at first. Go-ahead run comes to the plate in Kennedy Jones. So Daniel Serta works a walk. And BYU has some work to do to finish off the Spartans and the series sweep. Double play ends the game. Kennedy Jones... Two for five, including a two-run home run the last time he swung the bat. And he swings the bat through. An off-speed offering from Boston. Maybe his first strike one. He was swinging from the heels. He was swinging for the lead in a two-run ball game. Runners at first and second. Callahan at second. Serta at first. Go-ahead run in the batter's box in Kennedy Jones. Two for five with a run and two RBI. The 0-1. One out, two on. Runner from second takes off. The throw to third is not in time. First and third now. Two steals for Callahan to second and now third, creating runners on the corners with one gone. Double play still in effect. On first is Serta. On third is Callahan. His run is not the one that matters. The runner on first base, Serta does. 0-2 0-2 to Jones. That was a takeoff on a strike two. Mabius winds and deals. And a curveball swung on and missed for out number two. Second strike out of the ninth for Boston Mabius. A big out in Kennedy Jones. The sack fly comes off. And with two gone, Zach Budzik will now bat.
course, that run in third, not the important one. It's a two-run ball game, 13-11. Runners on the corners for Zach Budzik. Budzik. One for four with a run on an RBI. RBI double for him in the sixth. He scored in the eighth. A swing and a miss. Boston maybe is heating it up to 92. The fastball missed by Budzik. Two gone, two on. Top nine, BYU by two, 13 to 11. Boston maybe is looking to wrap up a two-inning, six-out stint to secure the win. The 0-1 to Budzik. Didn't swing, held back. BYU saves leader, the closer, maybe is with three on the year. Looking for number four as the Cougars look for consecutive win number three. And the series sweep, the 1-1. Two gone, two on. Boston kicks and deals, and that's popped up, but back out of play. One strike away, our Mabius and the Cougs. Mabius just threw his 37th pitch in his second inning of work. He stands tall on the hill. The southpaw gets set to deal to the right-handed hitting Budzik. The one-two count. The wind and deal and just low. Ball two. Two and two. The Spartans of UNC Greensboro down to their final out. The wind blows out to center. On third is Callahan. On first is Serta. Budzik in the box on the two-two. Boston kicks and deals. Grounder to second. Handled by Luke. A step on the bag in second, and that'll do it. The Cougars win it by a score of 13 to 11. The series sweep their first of the year. Their three game win streak, their first of the year. They win the week for a second consecutive week, taking three of four. The Cougars 13, and the Spartans 11 is our final score. Post game coverage starts after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.